Geminis, let's go ahead and jump straight into your reading. Um, any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description. And let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm feeling for my Geminis, I get this energy of you guys, like while things are okay, there could be certain things that you're still more so trying to get over. This could be like the recent recent passing of certain family members or like certain major events that may have taken place within your life. Like this could be you moving and having to emotionally shift to the environment change. Um, I just get this energy of you guys having to emotionally adjust to things abruptly taking place around you or the recent shifts that you guys have had to go through it's like the lingering energy of recovering emotionally. Okay, I'm getting like this ventilator machine. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picturing a ventilator machine. Um, I don't even know what it does. I think that helps with like breathing or something. Listen, I'm not going to go into the medical stuff. But I just get this energy of like some of you guys' hearts being on like life support. It's like the second that you try to date, you know that if it doesn't go right, that you may have an emotional breakdown. Like, let's just be honest. Like some of you are just not in a space to take another heartbreak or take another level of disappointment. All right, let's keep going. We have the chariot. And this deck is so cool. I love this card. So we have the chariot here. Interesting. So what I'm getting, I'm hearing there's no looking back. I don't know why I'm hearing that. There's no looking back. There's no looking back. With some sort of decision here that's made, there's no looking back. Like you literally can't go back from this. All you can do is go forward. And I'm not hearing this in a negative sense. This feels like, where some of you guys decide to start like a business idea, you you might luck up and you can't go back on the fact that you guys become really successful, like randomly. This is not something that's planned. Of course, you can't you can't prepare for something like this. Hmm. Spirit is also calling you to kind of elevate. Like where there's certain events that are going to take place, this is spirit putting you in a position to elevate, to go to higher heights. Because this, I'm feeling like with this abduction energy, okay, with this alien abduction energy that's coming through, it's like you guys are being called for a higher purpose, essentially. Hmm. Things are about to start taking off for you guys quickly. I just keep getting that energy strongly. I keep getting the energy of things taking off for you. And it's like out of the blue. Let me pull some more cards. Let's keep going. Because <laughs> I'm like staring at this card and I'm getting so many messages and so many downloads. Gemini's, what's going on? What's the energy around them? Listen, I'm trying to get a dollar or two. Gemini's, if you want to donate, definitely cash at me. Oh, not my cards just fell on the floor like that. I'm going to pick them up. Give me a card for my Geminis. What's the energy around them? So what do we have? We have rejection. Okay, so you guys are definitely going to have to turn somebody the hell down. Mainly because you don't really feel like their energy is genuine. This could be somebody like reaching out to you and trying to be the best of friends with you after they may have put you through some certain things like heartbreak or disappointment or just have stood you up way too many times I'm getting. Um, I'm also getting the energy. I always say this rejection is the best form of protection. So anything that doesn't work out for you during this time frame. Understand that this is God trying to protect you from what may be on the other side of what you think is an opportunity. And it's really not. All right. The worst thing you could do is kind of question spirit when they know what's best for you, even when you don't think they do, they do. Spirit has your best interest and spirit can see 
what's ahead of you, what may manifest if certain opportunities are taken up. And that may be spirit trying to protect you by pushing certain things out of your energy. Gemini's. So we have anger. So somebody's pissed at you. Somebody is pissed or you guys are pissed at someone. Spirit is saying, watch how, watch how you engage with someone. If they do start to kind of come at you in an aggressive way, your response, the way that you give energy to that situation determines how things play out. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. And if you get triggered in any sense, make sure your anger doesn't lead you to do things where you kind of like black out and you don't think about what's on the other side of making certain decisions. Okay. Wow. Somebody is really pissed at you. <laughs> Ooh, I have to kind of look and see really quick. Why is this somebody, why is this person upset? This could be the person who you've had a long-term relationship with, but you guys are not on like the best terms right now. I have the King of Wands here. So this could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo or really any Zodiac sign. Um, but there could be like this energy of somebody questioning whether or not there's infidelity going on or somebody is like so full of ego at the moment where they're being really difficult to, to deal with. All right, give me one more card. We have intuition. Mm. Hmm. So it's like things are kind of <laughs> manifesting the way that you may have um, already kind of predicted like okay what I'm seeing with this card some of you may have had like this intuitive gut feeling that maybe a month ago certain things were going to happen or certain things may have been happening so you could have been feeling like dang my husband or my wife is cheating on me I feel it like I can tell the way that they're moving the way that they're acting the way that their energy is something's up and then fast forward to now you find out some pertinent information that that may be true so spirit is saying, make sure you're not beating yourself up for not listening to your intuition, but make sure when your intuition is speaking to you that you listen, not saying just act on impulse, but making sure that you listen and that you don't deem yourself as being crazy. Let's keep going. We have separation here. So yeah, definitely the person who you may have cut off who may have cut you off. I get the energy of you guys still being on their mind and this person still being on your mind. Now, if it's in a positive sense or in a negative sense, is going to differ for each and every one of you. But definitely this energy of you guys communicating with each other on a spiritual plane, not, <laughs> not in the physical, but in the spiritual. It's like you guys are really in tune with each other energy-wise more than you may even know. push these back so you guys can see let me pull some cards from here what's the energy surrounding the separation what's the energy give me two cards okay anxiously stressed out like i said overthinking that's that overthinking energy that's that you're on my mind and i'm thinking about every possibility that's about to play out you guys are literally mirroring each other or this person is really going through it, especially with this temperance card in reverse. It's like a lack of balance, a lack of being able to keep it together within their own energy. Definitely going through it. And they could be seeing you elevating in terms of you just moving the hell on. Like a lot of you are acting very nonchalant about the fact that you guys are done and it's pissing this person off. It's definitely pissing them off. Let's keep going. We have surrender here. Mm. Waving that white flag. So there's freedom in surrendering to outcomes. Spirit is saying, look, instead of you trying to claim certain outcomes or have certain expectations of situations, 
the best thing that you could do with this very moment is to wave the white flag literally and allow spirit to kind of move mountains in your life where there is no real thing that you could do to kind of change the circumstances that you're in. Like in some cases, there's literally nothing that you can do. All you can do is kind of just allow things to happen for you. And you understand that things are not happening to you, but for you. Okay, we have better things ahead. Okay, some of you are drowning in your emotions. You need to really let it out. We have future plans, the three of wands here. So yeah, I get the energy of things starting to really manifest for you in the near future. I give it three weeks to three months for a lot of you. There's going to be some huge shifts in your life. And a lot of movement in terms of your, your plans and your goals. I just keep getting that. Okay, let me pull one more card for you guys from this deck. Gemini's. What's the energy around them? Quality time. Mm. So this is also that Venus and Capricorn energy. This is like holding value over your time, understanding that you have personal worth and that people should not be able to just take advantage of your worth by thinking that they could have access to you whenever they want to have access to you. So what's going to be happening is, like I said, you guys may be given this energy of like, I'm very nonchalant. I'm above the BS and people are seeing that and they're upset. You're they're upset. We have passion and desire, which is the ace of wands here. We have supporter of generosity and security, which is the queen of pentacles. So, yeah. Some of you are going to have like a new eye candy, a new love interest that comes in. And this person could be really showing you that they value you, that they're interested in you, that they would really like to take you serious. It could be very steamy. Uh, this person could be really doing all the things that check off on your list, essentially. There could be some things where it's like, eh. But for the most part, you could be very attracted to this person. You may really like the fact that they're creative as well. I get the energy of them being creative or really motivational in a sense, especially if they're like their own boss. I definitely get that energy. But this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective that you enjoyed. Thumbs the video up, subscribe, and I'll see you later.